Where once there was only Yugoslavia, now there are six national teams. Some, like Serbia and Croatia, have had success in their new guises, less so Macedonia. But they've still produced some impressive young talent. Among the most eye-catching is 22-year-old midfielder Stefan Spirovsky. My first steps in the game were taken with FC Pelister of Bitola. I started training with them when I was only seven years old and I started playing professionally in the first team when I was 16. That's how old I was when I first signed a professional contract with FC Pelister. In January 2010, I signed a contract with the Serbian club Borats from Čačak. I've played there for three seasons in all. But right now, I'm back on loan with FC Rabotnički. Being in Serbia was a great experience for me. I learnt a great deal in my time playing there. I hope that when I return to Borat's Chachak in six months' time, I'll be back playing regularly with the first team again. I mostly play as a defensive midfielder. But it all really depends on the coach's tactics. I've also played as an offensive midfielder in some games. I think that I'm very good in the defensive position and I'm sure the coaches are satisfied with what I do on the pitch. I think the defensive midfielder position is the best for me. Spirovsky comes from Bitola, a quaint old town in the southwest of the country. He's been a mainstay of Macedonia's under-21s and has now made the breakthrough to the seniors. After his time in Serbia, he's now back in the Macedonian capital. So what does the city of Skopje have to offer the young footballer about town? I hang out with my friends here in Skopje. We go to the movies a lot. We just hang out, I suppose. And we also talk a lot about football. We discuss things on the internet as well. But I don't have a lot of spare time. I train a great deal. That's pretty much it. Spirovsky made his debut in Macedonia's top flight at the age of 16 and was quickly noticed by the powers that be. One who saw his potential is current national team coach Chedomir Janevsky. I think he's a very good young player. He's already played a great deal for the junior national team and he's one of those youngsters who very quickly made the step up to the senior national team. He's already played three or four games for that squad. It had been planned that he would play in the games against Scotland and Croatia. But as the under-21s were playing an important qualifying game against Serbia at the same time, he had to play in that instead. Stefan is one of three players who played in that match, instead of playing for the seniors. But after that, he got an injury that kept him out of the game for some time. I think he's slowly getting back to the same level. He's a midfielder. He has a good pass. He can also read the game extremely well. And that's something that was very obvious from a young age. The other important thing about him is that he is an extremely disciplined individual. There are a couple of things he might improve, the tempo of his play, and perhaps his reading of one-on-one -on -one situations. And I think there's room for him to build his physique up as well. Spirovsky spent three good seasons at Borats, though they were relegated last year. His combative style also led to a few injuries, so the loan to Rabotnitschki should help him get back into shape. Stefan is a terrific football player. He has all the prerequisites, but now, since his injury, the one thing he needs is to have more playing time. He ought to get that in the Macedonian league with Robotnitschki. After that, I think he should give a great deal of thought to going to a top-class league. But for the moment, I think it's important for him to display his qualities.
And I think the Macedonian League is the place for that. Swarovski also has international ambitions. Macedonia recently beat Denmark, and while getting to Brazil might be asking too much, if other parts of former Yugoslavia can punch above their weight, then why can't Macedonia? I think this generation has a lot of quality and can do very well. And I hope that if we don't end up qualifying for the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, that we can at least qualify for the European Championship in 2016. I think we have the chance to do that.